Welcome back to another Forza Motorsport 7 2019 season. I am FHRC Brony, and today, Shadow Bulls Racer number 22, Sugarcoat, is now racing for the very first time in a Conezega Guerra at Circuit de Barcelona, Catalonia. And they're off. Aside from the uh, 24 hours of Le Mans Circuit de la Sarthe, uh, Catalonia has actually one of the longest straightaways out here. As they now enter into turn one into Elf. Entering turn two, going around turn three, which is Renault. This is an increasing radius turn. As they now enter to the back straight, entering in, heading into turn four. This is actually one of the back straights, I should say. As they now enter turn 5 into seat. This is her first time driving the Konezega Gera, uh, so her driving skills may be a little bit different. Uh, she's been driving the Toyota Super for quite some time, ever since Forza Horizon 3, 2, and 1. As she's now entering turn 7 and 8. Ooh, a little bit squirrely out there uh, into turn 8. But she's keeping her car well, uh, well maintaining and keeping it straight. Uh, as she's now entering into Kempsa, which is turn 9. And out on the back straight. Entering turn 10. About to enter turn 11. As she's still right behind the two McLarens. Going a little bit too wide there. She's not really used to driving the Kona Zeka. She's not entering turn three. Sorry, not turn three. Uh, turn 13 and 14. And uh, exiting out of turn 15. Entering turn 16, which is New Holland. And into the final stretch, starting her second lap. Her first lap isn't that the greatest, but you know, just like any type of race, uh, the first lap isn't always the perfect one, so. There's always a good chance. Oh, look at that. Her brakes are has locked up as she's now entering turn one and elf. Entering turn two. Now entering to the increasing radius turn at turn three, Renault. He's still right behind the McLaren P1 GTR. Good, good driving out there. Wonderful driving. And she's now entering turn four. And she's now entering into turn 5, which is seat, right after the straight. Ooh, a little bit squirrely over there by the sugar coat. Still keeping, able to keep the car well maintained, especially for a car that has a lot of horsepower. Specifically over 950 horsepower. Wonderful move right there by sugar coat as she's now entering turn 7 and 8. Ooh, a little bit, nearly cut that turn right there. She's still right behind the McLaren P1. Entering into turn 9 after Kamsa. Into the back straight. Entering, he heading into turn 10. Ooh, her brakes once locked up again. As she's now passing the McLaren P1. Great job by Sugarco with the wonderful pass. And she's now entering in into Europe car, which is thir uh, turn 13. Great driving, great, that's just great driving into, as she's now entering into the final chicane, entering turn 16, which is New Holland. And much to my surprise, um, ah, there we go, uh, Sugar Co is now entering into the pit stop. Uh, she's now making her first uh, pit lane um, visit during the race, so let's see what she's going to be doing over there, uh, getting a new set of tires, getting refueled, alright. Uh, like you say on the camera focus right there, guys. She's going to start moving. Ooh, there's a Zonda R just passed by. Okay. And she's not moving. All right. And she's now starting her third lap out of the pits. About to enter turn one. That is that that's just great right there. That is amazing. At, at, out of turn two, entering into Renault. 
Nice driving by sh by Sugarcoat, as she's still able to. S Ooh, a little got off the. Tr no, she barely got off the track right there. She's not entering into turn four. He's not entering into turn seven and eight. Now that one is a lot better right there. That's a lot better. Entering turn nine out of Kempsa. So we got a nice viewing over there at Nissan Chicane. Ooh, her brakes locked up once again. She is really going hard out on the Kona's egg. Actually, I'm quite surprised that most the Shadowbulls and Equestrian Motorsports is actually using uh, uh, driving their cars without having any, having any electronic assists, such as ABS and traction control. That is quite impressive. All right, she's now entering to the last chicane out of turn 15, entering turn 16 into New Holland and into the final stretch, and she's about to start her final lap. All right, the final lap, the white flag has now been raised, and let's see how Sugarcoat can take this out. As he's now entering turn one. Going a little too fast, she's going a little bit too fast there, she's almost got out of the track. Entering to the increasing radius turn, Renault, turn three. She's now entering into turn four, which is another increasing radius turn, and her brakes has locked up once again. She's really going hard out on the Konenseg. What would Christian von Konenseg will be like if she's seeing Sugarcoat doing this to the Konenseg? That's a lot of money right there down the drain with those tires, I must say. Ooh, a little bit of some throttle oversteer. Okay. This is getting interesting by Sugarcoat as he's now entering turn 7 and 8. And the Clan P1 still right behind the Konase Agera. As he's now entering turn 9 out of Kempsa. Once again, that's a nice little view over there at Nissan Chicane. As she's now. Oh my goodness, she is still locking up her brakes. Dang. My goodness. She's, this is actually the first time I've ever seen someone in a race really, really flooring, putting their foot on the brakes. That is just like crazy. Blocking up those brakes and able to stop the car just in time before entering the turn. That is just incredible driving. As she's now entering turn 16 into New Holland, into the final stretch and winning, gonna win this race. And Sugarcoat crosses the line, and we got a winner here. And now the Shadow Bulls only lost one race, and still with a good record for the Shadow Bulls. Great job. And I'll talk to you guys again soon for the next race, guys. Hope you guys enjoy this, and bye-bye.